What's up everybody? I got another build coming at you guys this week. This is gonna be pretty sweet because it's actually gonna be slightly based on my old F-150. It's going in the shop here in just a little bit and uh, we'll get started on it. Well, the F-150 build is kind of taking a little back seat right now. Um, we got in there to tighten down all the front end components, put the knuckle on the driver's side, and the knuckle actually has a crack in it. We are sending it back to Ready Lift. They're sending us a new one, but it's gonna be a couple days until we get that sorted out. It happens, um, nothing against Ready Lift, because once again, it happens. It's not the first one we've seen cracked. So we'll go from there, get this thing done. All right, so we got the truck all out of the shop. It is ready to go. I'll take you around it real quick and show you what all we did to this thing. First things first, as you can see, obviously we lifted it. Uh, we went with the Ready Lift 7 inch kit. Like I said, we were kind of going off of what we did on my F 150, which was actually a 6 inch rough country. That was pretty tight for fitment. So uh, the 7 inch was definitely a little better fitment. For the wheels, we went with the Fuel Lethals and then uh, the Toyo Open Country MTs for the tires in a 37, 13, 50, 18. So that fitment, absolutely perfect. I mean, it requires some trimming for this, um, but in my opinion, it's it's not a ton. I mean, it's pretty much all plastic. Uh, we didn't really have to worry about too much. Since this thing is kind of a work truck, but since it is part of his fleet, it needs to be able to work. So we did a set of Firestone uh, 5,000 pound airbags in the rear to help out when he is towing on this. The Ready Lift kit also comes with the Bilstein shocks in the rear, so that will help with the ride quality on there. But other than that, I mean, that is pretty much everything that we did to this. Simple build, love this setup on the F-150s. It's probably my favorite, a little personal preference on that. He liked the setup on it. He wanted that off-road look and that's what he got. So we're happy to say that this thing's all done and it'll be on the road here shortly. So we'll catch you guys on the next video. <laughs> 